Forgive and forget. It sounds so beautiful. It sounds so spiritual, doesn't it? Well, what if I told you that's really not good advice at all? <laughs> so forgiving is wonderful, of course, but never forget. We never want to forget the lesson. We never want to forget because people are going to show you who they are. And we need to really pay attention to that. We need to pay more attention to their actions and less attention to their words, especially if you've been seeing a pattern of the same person telling you one thing, but doing another. So it's really important to forgive people, but understand we can also forgive people from a distance. You know, I forgive everyone in my life at this point who's ever betrayed me because I've learned so much. There's always a lesson in everything and they made me more wise. They made me more discerning. So I, I do, I forgive everyone, but that doesn't mean I'm going to keep them in my life. You know, we can forgive from a distance and we can forget in this way to where we aren't occupied or it doesn't occupy our mind anymore. Like we're not going over and over a situation from the past that's irrelevant, but we do want to take away that lesson. That is what we want to remember. And a lot of times we hear from spiritual teachers and we, we feel like we're doing the right thing. The right thing is to, you know, just be a doormat almost, you know, like if that's the spiritual way to be right, just keep forgiving until, you know, you're just a doormat and, you know, just keep forgiving them over and over again. But what we're running into when we do that is self betrayal, self betrayal. Okay. So don't betray yourself in order to be more spiritual. You know, at the end of the day, self care, taking care of yourself first is very highly spiritual and you're actually not going to be worth much to anyone if you don't take care of yourself first. So keep that in mind. When you notice a pattern and someone keeps doing the same things over and over, you know, there, it does get to a point of self betrayal and you can eventually forgive that person, but just, you've got to eventually gain the wisdom. And like I said, the discernment to where you realize not everybody is like you. You're a nice person, right? You're a nice person. You would never do that to anyone. I know, I get it. I've been there. But that doesn't mean everybody thinks like you. And that doesn't mean they're going to change ever. Some people just never change. They have different values, different priorities, and different morals, honestly. So I hope this helped someone. I'm, you know, I was having a conversation with a friend about forgiveness, and I was just like, you know, this is such an important lesson that. I, I, I had to learn, it took me decades to learn this one. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, so you don't have to take decades wasting your time the way I did. Hope you have a beautiful day.